my scrappy friends this is Hannah with you and I am sharing an art journal page that I made last year but like a lot of the spreads that I did I have not posted the video um, this is an art journal page that I actually wasn't sure if it was done but I just decided that I was going to post it so um, I took a whole bunch of things to uh, draw circles around on my art journal page so a lot of times what I will do is just use like um, cups or like dishes or bowls in my scrapper lids <laughs> that are circle <laughs> uh, so yeah um, I find that that looks a lot more uh, round like the shape is better than if I just free draw circles so they never are complete circular if I do them so um, yeah so now I'm just taking a whole bunch of different shimmers sprays and some of like the inklies and creamies and I'm doing them all in rainbow color as you can see and so around each of these circles I am just kind of taking the color and brushing it around and making these fun little bubbles so it is going to be rainbow colored and so I'm gonna take some of the colors and kind of mix them in together and blend them and there really was no rhyme or reason like which color I decided to start with first I just kind of started so and I did try to like I said use one color and then kind of gradiently move to other colors so if that makes sense so like like you see the blue and that turquoisey color and then some green and mixing all those colors together and I'm gonna come back into this and add more and add more water and make it look really cool I really liked how this turned out even though like I said I never really finished it <laughs> um, I'm sorry that you can't see down at the bottom all the way and I did like I said I did use some sprays and some of the creamies and like inklings and type stuff so because I wanted a variety of colors and some times you can get them similar uh, like there'll be colors that are similar in the sprays as in the inklings and actually now I'll make sure I link to the store below now there's so many colors of the creamies and inklings and stuff but when I first was on their team there was a lot less and so it takes a little while to kind of build up all the colors but uh, yeah so and all you have to do is just spray a little bit of water in or dump I just dump a little bit of water in there and it you mix it around with your paintbrush and usually you can get a really good color some of the inklings that have the shimmer in them uh, I find that I have to use like there's ones that are just shimmers and those ones are already liquidy and you don't have to add those to them but you do need to stir it around a little bit so <clears throat> I wish I had wrote down all of the colors that I used because now I feel like I'm gonna have to go in and look <laughs> So I'll try to make sure in the comment section or the info box that I have a list of the colors that I'm pretty sure I used. Like I think that that one that I'm using right now, that orangey yellow color is a, is like dandelion or something like that. That one's really pretty. And I think the one up at the top is like coral or something like that. So these are super bright and obviously the when you keep adding the colors to it it is really really uh, can be bright or you can tone it down and use more water so I believe that green is Kermit or Hermit is it Kermit the Frog something like that I think it's Kermit the Frog I believe that's so and 
as I'm doing this, I'm just kind of putting more of the color around so it looks like it's dripping out. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do this without using a lot of water, but I did try to keep the colors a little bit more concentrated without adding a ton of water, which is why I'm having to use my paintbrush to make it look that it's drippy um, and stuff, but you know. I think this is just one of those things where it ends up just being therapy because you're just coloring <laughs> and you know whatever it however it turns out it turns out and it wasn't I wasn't necessarily trying to get a certain look which is the way I like to do a lot of my art journal pages like so I guess there's a couple of different ways that you could do an art journal page so you could do something like this where you really just sort of have an idea like I had an idea of the circles and I wanted to do different colors around the circles um, but how I got to that and what it looked like at the end really wasn't what I had in mind I just was doing stuff and if it felt right I did it thus you know like adding more color mixing the, where I'm mixing the colors together um, putting more paint on the outsides of the circles and I'm really taking my time doing this. I mean, this video is still almost 20 minutes with me fast forwarding it. I probably could have fast forwarded it more, but I feel like my hand would have been moving way too fast. Cause as you can see, I am still painting quite fast, <laughs> but this did take quite a long time. And I think it's just because I kept going back over it. Um, I really wanted it to look I really wanted to blend it well and like I said I was kind of doing like blobs and having it look like the color was going away from the circles but um, trying to make it look organic without it being organic because I'm forcing it to do that because I wasn't using it a lot of water so it just takes it just takes time which is, like I said, this is where the therapy comes into it because it's not like you're really thinking, you're just kind of doing something where I do have some spreads where I purposely, like I had one where I did a, um, a mountain and I wanted to use the palette knife to make like a mountain type look. I did one that was a sunflower and that one was really fun and I knew exactly what I was trying to do. I've done leaves where I knew kind of what I was like that one was a little bit closer to this because I knew I wanted it to look like autumn leaves and do that with the watercolor but I wasn't necessarily sure how it was going to turn out because <clears throat> you're mixing colors and stuff but this is one of those th techniques or things that you can do on an art journal page where you really get to play with your products and see what they're going to do and kind of see what happens when you force it one way or if you use more water or you use less water so you really get this idea of what your like what your products can do for you and I feel like that's important if you're really interested in the art of it <laughs> uh, not necessarily just but it does help even like for my scrapbooking pages it really does help me know what I can do with what product so and I really love shimmers because there are so many different options um, you know I can use it for something fun like this or I can use it for for an, uh, a scrapbook page where I'm just adding a little bit of color so I really love that part about it and you know they have so many fun colors and a lot of them have shimmer in them and so that always is nice and fun and I it's like I love how this kind of starts to look more tie-dye-ish but with that rainbow, it's like I was trying to think about what I was going to name this when I put it in. And it's like summer rainbow. I almost, I think when I wrote it down in my book, I put bubbles. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not. <laughs> but, but like, 
you know, I mean, it just looks super fun. So I started <clears throat> with some of those purples and then some of this is the purple, like there are two different kinds a purple one is more of like a lilac -y purple and then you have this other one and then I'm mixing the hot pink like I believe though the pink that I was using is the pink stilettos which is such a fun and bright vibrant color I mean oh my goodness so it's just like super fun and it was fun when the color when the bubbles like kind of work together and I could really put those two colors and merge them together so I mean I do feel like this is a video where I'm just talking <laughs> instead of really explaining what I'm doing because it's I mean it's just keep, I just keep building on this so I'm like oh I need more color here oh I want this part to be larger and really it it wasn't that I was thinking about it when I was doing it so <clears throat> I guess that's what I mean by like this is more of like a therapy type page and so now I'm I need something else in there so this is when I start adding some of these colors just kind of floating out a little bit more and I really like that because even though it looks awesome it needed something else to fill that space so I'm just like oh yeah you know <laughs> you just kind of spot it's like Wherever it feels like you need to add something, you add it. And like, so there's some spots that are darker than other spots and stuff. Um, I really had thought about putting stuff on the insides of these. And so in a little bit, you're going to see me start to add like some paint. So I just added some acrylic paint. This, I don't believe I gessoed the, it at all because this uh, art journal is more of like a watercolory. Well, not really, but it's kind of watercolory, and that watercolor spreads really easily on it. It is one of those big, uh, it's the big one. I don't even know what size it is. It's huge. <laughs> but it's really fun for doing things that you can really spread out and have a lot of space. So here's where I just took acrylic paint. So this obviously is not from shimmers but that's okay and I'm gonna fill each of those circles in and I really want it to be like that you notice that the inside is white because the paper in this is actually more of like a cream color which is fine and sorry my head's in the way my hair looks like horrible <laughs> some days I just stick it up but anyway um yeah so I'm just putting you know paint on the inside and I just want to get it covered because I was thinking that I was going to do s more stuff on the inside but I wasn't sure so when you see the close-ups you will see that one of the circles because you'll see it in the video I did do a little bit of work in there I had a hard time so I did have to cut some of that well I'll talk about that when we get there because my head was like so in the way but <clears throat> I did want that um, that difference and I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any color on the inside of the circles so and that paint is D Dina Wakely paint but it really doesn't matter what kind of acrylic paint you use for something like this because it's just kind of covering up I mean <clears throat> I wanted it bright white instead of like that cream color so I mean most of in these circles they were pretty neat anyway i don't think i got a whole lot of stuff in there but you can see it like even on here it like when i'm watching it my my little screen is not very big but so i feel like it's harder but you can notice the difference especially when you look at the blue and the green one compared to some of the other ones so like if you're doing something like this and you really want it to show up, you might have to use two layers <laughs> of paint because sometimes with these art journal pages, it just, you end up needing a little bit more paint than you think you're going to need if you want to cover something completely. So, so now I'm taking this fine liner bottle because I really want to have that 
that distinct difference of like black, white, color. So, and to have that look more pronounced, I'm taking this fine liner bottle and you just take black acrylic paint and you mix it with a fluid. I have, um, ah, it's airbrush medium. Sorry, I was going to pick it up so I could look at it. But anyway, it's, um, I use golden and it's airbrush medium. And so it's this liquid paint thinner basically. And so it would help if you were going to use like an airbrush with acrylic paint, but I'm using it with the acrylic paint so that it's fluid. Uh, I will say I love these fine lighter bottles, but they clog up so easily the tips. Oh my gosh. Even if you keep it really thin, that's my only like I have a couple and a lot of them have. So I'm just kind of adding some black X's also. So you'll see that in the close ups, some pluses or X's. And so now you see, this is the one circle that I was talking about. My head's going to get in the way. So you're not going to really see me fill all these in. But my thought was, oh, if I fill these in, um, it'd be really cool and I could do different things on each one and I don't end up doing that. I only do it with this one, but that's okay because in the end, I think I like that. Uh, what else did I do? Did I do a couple of triangles down in that corner? I might have, but anyway, here's a close up. So now you see it didn't fill in very well because my fine liner bottle was starting to clog up, but I really liked that difference between the black, like that black really, really helped show like the color to the black, like that. I, I really love how that stand out. So it didn't, I didn't finish it, but I think part of this for this page spread was really just the journey in which I took to get there. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys later. And I hope that you guys are inspired to try something just fun just to learn. Bye.